Oh man, you say you fly niggas out, but why the fuck you getting the money from? The niggas? Another nigga. Yes, I, I would take a duck money wow. and do whatever for my nigga. I like you, Shawty. <laughs> Just, I ain't the duck though. I ain't. I'm saying though. That, but he wasn't with it. It's not even about being with it. It's just like a respect thing. As long as you're not fucking, because this niggas out here, you don't have to fuck every nigga for you money. You don't. Period. Yeah. A nigga, you can pull up on a nigga, he'll give you five, ten thousand dollars. You just gotta be that. And that's that pretty what privilege. What world is that? Who doing pretty that? Pretty privilege. Doing Thank that. you. Out here? Okay, okay, look. Yeah, that must have been during the pandemic. Um, a nigga do that. Hello. Yeah, it's like okay. anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hold up. When the nigga do that, that's do y'all look at him like he, like, he a sucker? Like, no. I can't look at him like that's this. Generous, that's, that's generous. That's generous. That's generous. Really? Niggas, right niggas there. like that. You no. would want to be around a nigga like that before anything. Before anything. Because you know, if anything happened, you could call him and he going to pull up with it. For sure. Yeah, he ain't expecting oh, okay. nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he, expect might, he might expect something, but he going to let it happen naturally. Niggas not getting no pussy because they force. They be pressed. Like force. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They be pressed. They be pressed about it. Yeah. I don't got to spend $1, right? I could, I could use it just off my face card game. Sometimes you gotta pay a bitch off. It gotta be transactional. I like the thrill of this shit. Like if I if I give you ten thousand, that means all right, I automatically know my mind she gonna get you pussy one day. Like I wanna use my motherfucking face, my game, like see where I'm at. Everybody don't have that. Facts. I get that. And some men just like spending money. They yeah, have it. Yo, it's it's so much bullshit going on in this video, man. I you know, he's asking the chick, you fly niggas out. How do you get the money? And she's like, well, I take a duck's money. A duck. Right? A sucker. Right? A uh, bitch ass yucker. Right? An idiot that just gives her money. She uses that money to spend on the guy that she really likes. Right? And <laughs> you see, look, right after she says that, the guy says to her, uh, I like you, shawty. Like, you know, playing around and shit, right? But let me tell you something, man. See, th this is a part of the reason why it'll always be fucked up. Because if there is a war of the sexes, right? If there is a battle of the sexes, we're always going to lose. Because the niggas, niggas don't take the shit seriously. And niggas ain't on code. Niggas do not take the shit seriously. Like men, there are a lot of men out there that don't take the shit seriously. And we're not on code. Right. Meaning that we'll always lose because there's always a nigga that's going to trick on bitches. There's always a, a dude out there that's going to give a woman money when she hasn't earned it. It's always a, a dude out there that is going to bestow his masculine value on a woman who has not earned it. You understand? And just like when this when when this dude leans over and says, I like you, shawty, like on some play play shit. What he don't understand is, and I know, I know they on the podcast and they just, you know, playing around, talking shit, whatever. But here's, here's what happened when you do shit like that, right? You are letting that woman know that it's okay for her to take advantage of dumb niggas. Because here's the thing is it is somewhere in the Bible, right? Where, where God or Jesus or somebody said, whatever you do to the least of my brethren, you do to me. Okay. So as men, if we, if we tolerate women, taking advantage of stupid simp ass dudes who give women money without them earning it. We are perpetuating the mentality. We are perpetuating the process. We are perpetuating the practice of these women using these, these dudes for money It's either we help our brethren to smarten up. And at the same time, we got to let these women know that that's not what they should be doing. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, Again, I, I, I tell you guys, like, I don't really, I don't hold women accountable, but I'm not going to sit there and support the bullshit neither. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit there and laugh, laugh with her talking about, I like you, shawty, but I ain't the duck though. So you see, he, he, he over there talking about, I like you, shawty. But then <clears throat> right after he said that, he realized, oh shit, I'm perpetuating the bullshit. Then he says, but I ain't the duck though. But like I said, whatever you do to the least of my brethren, you do to me. So if you support the bullshit with simp niggas, then you support the bullshit with all men. You understand? So, you know, you know, that the, the, the dynamics of this shit, you know, can get really deep because there's a there's there's shit going on and there's certain men who don't want to be a part of the shit, but they allow the shit to happen. 
You get what I'm saying? They allow the shit to happen. And then you continue perpetuating the, the mindset of these females who think it's okay. And then and then the females think it's okay, so they behave a certain way. And then the dumb niggas, the simps, the idiots, they behave a certain way because they trying to lead with their wallet to get these, you know, these quote unquote pretty chicks to, to like them, right? And that leads me to the pretty privilege thing. Pretty privilege is only a thing to simps. Pretty pri privilege is only a thing to men who don't have consistency when it comes to game, meaning that they treat, quote unquote, pretty women or women they find more attractive differently than women who they don't find attractive. Right. And the thing is, when you have game as a man, when you understand your masculine identity, you treat all women the same. You understand? You treat all women the same until they prove themselves and earn your favor, earn your attention, earn your value. You understand? So that means every woman starts from zero. No, no woman is a dime. She starts from zero until she earns the position of being important in your life. If you are a man of value, pretty privilege doesn't really exist unless you're talking about simps and idiots who waste their time and resources on women that they think are attractive and then treat women that they think are attractive uh, differently or more better than women who they don't find attractive. You understand? Pretty privilege is not a thing. It, it only becomes a thing with idiots, with idiot men who don't know their value. You understand? So, and then he, you know, he asked him, oh, so when, when y'all look at dudes like this, y'all look at them as suckers. And then she's like, no, of course not. Of course you don't. Yo, whenever you hear a chick get that high pitched type of voice, you know, she bullshitting. You know, she bullshitting. Cause what was the first thing came out of her mouth? She said, I would take a duck's money, meaning I would take a dumb motherfucker's money. A nigga that's giving me money for nothing. I will take his money and spend it on my nigga. My, like my real, the guy that I really like, I will take this idiot's money and spend it on my, my dude. You understand? And, I, and I've done that before. I've had, I've had a woman that I was dealing with go and do that. <laughs> like, and again, I, I'm guilty of that shit too. Because what you do to the least of my brethren, you're really doing to me. You understand? I've, I've had women go out and, and, and do that shit. And game niggas into giving them money to pay my phone bill. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? To pay my shit when when I was in, you know, uh, sketchy situations in my lifetime coming up. You understand? I, we needed some extra money in the house. Yo, go sweet talk that nigga. Get that money. And it went down just like that. You understand? And they told me, nah, nah, these guys are just generous. No, these guys are ducks. Like you said, these guys are suckers. These guys are suckers. You have no respect for these niggas. You have no respect for these dudes. None of these dudes who you are willing to, to take their money and not have sex with them and not be with them. You understand? As long as they're willing to give you the money, you look at them as suckers. And, and notice, you know, they said um, these guys are generous. Generous just means gullible. Generous just means you're an idiot. When, they, when, when a woman calls you generous, when, when a woman says, I'm looking for a guy that's generous, that just means she's looking for somebody that will give her something for nothing. That's all she's saying. That's all a generous man is to a woman. Do you understand? Something that will give her someone, a man that will give her something for nothing. So the type of chick that, you know, it's chicks out here that they literally go to the bar looking as good as they try to look as as good as they can. They got the makeup, the sexy outfits, and they just sit at the bar and wait for idiot, dumb, dumb motherfuckers to come up and buy them drinks. I've sat in restaurants in Miami and watched this happen. <clears throat> Shout out to Fresh and Fit. I remember when, when me and Lucario went out there to be on a show and then they took us to dinner after. We were sitting there chilling, having dinner. And Myron was like, yo, watch this. And we watched a, a group of three girls just sit there, not drinking, not doing nothing. And the crazy part is the establishment, the restaurant didn't say nothing to them. I remember being in establishments as a man. And if I sit there with no drink in my hand or nothing and I'm not ordering anything, they tell me to get the fuck out. You understand? But these young, pretty chicks, the establishment don't kick them out. OK, because they're young and they're pretty and they attract attention. Fine. I get it. It's it's all business. Nothing personal. I get it. But Myron was sitting there. We were chilling. And he was like, yo, watch this. And then some dudes rolled up, you know, and then they started talking to them, acting all friendly, touching them on the shoulder and shit. Next thing you know, hey, let's get a round of drinks. And all of a sudden, these girls got drinks in their hand. 
And these are the quote unquote generous men that they're looking for. But generous just means gullible and and stupid with your money. They say that uh, a fool and his gold are soon parted. OK, that means you can be rich. You can have money. You could be rich. But if you're an idiot, you will you you will squander your money. You will waste your money. You will let people talk you out of your money. You understand? So so at the part where he asked him if they look at these dudes, that second, they're like, nah, these guys are generous. Right. Again, generous just means gullible. Right. G generous just means you're a simp. Generous means you give a woman something for nothing. Right. And then they say, well, these are the type of guys you want to be around because, you know, if you need something, they'll pull up. When think about what they say when they say be around, they didn't say be with, be his girl, have sex with him or anything like that. They just said, these are the guys you want to be around. What does that sound like? Just keeping God, just keeping a guy around. What does that sound like to you, to you guys? That sounds like the friend zone to me. That's what that sounds like. So they know that you're generous, right? They know that you got, you got money to spend. They want to quote unquote, keep you around. That's friend zone shit. And in, in the very beginning, what does she call them? A duck. I will take a duck's money and spend it on my nigga. Meaning I will take an idiot or a sucker's money and spend it on the guy that I really like. Because when the guy that I really like comes around, I'm fucking him. I'm doing what he asked me to do. I'm doing what he say. So basically all of the guys in these women's lives who just give them money for nothing and give them money and not do and they don't give them no instructions they don't tell them hey i want you to do this i want you to i want you to you know i want you to have sex with me i want you to go out on a date with me i want you to do what i want you to do these women are not hearing that all these women is hearing is hey you got some money for me like a like a pre, like a previous video i did not too long ago where the chicks called up these dudes and requested cash apps and these niggas sent them money almost immediately they they agreed to send them money almost immediately it is the men it is the simp ass dudes the reason why we'll always lose in general and why we'll always have women with this mentality is that there will always be weak simp stupid sucker ass dudes that are willing to give women something for nothing they're willing to send women cash apps they're willing to simp on these women they're willing to literally the woman just said you don't have to fuck these dudes all you got to do is pull up on them and they'll give you five ten thousand dollars there are guys like this out here doing this shit guy like this is what's going on this is what's hot in the streets for a woman to just pull up on you just to hang out just to hang out with a with a dude just to be in the midst of a chick that that looks like she's she's attractive, these dudes will give them five ten thousand dollars. One of these rappers, I don't know if it was NBA Young Boy or one of, one of these niggas. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He, I think he spent he's he he paid a bitch forty forty thousand dollars to play with his ass. Forty thousand dollars to play with his ass. You understand? These, these are these are the type of moves that dudes is making in the street, thinking that they got game. This is this is sick and appalling. This is a disgrace for manhood. And uh, again, you know, these women are on podcasts. They, then they're they're gonna try their best to make it sound like it makes sense. They're gonna try their best. To make it sound like, oh, oh no, nah, I don't think these guys, I would never say that these guys are suckers, even though I call him a duck in the in the in the very beginning of the video, I called him a duck. But nah, these guys are just generous. And you know, and some men they just got the money to spend. And again, it's like, guys, if somebody wanted to spend money on you, you're not gonna stop them. You're not gonna stop them. But at, but at the same time, we can't come back and look at these girls as gold diggers when we the one giving them the gold to dig. That's not how it works, fellas. Like, I can't believe, yo, when I see some of these videos, I can't believe these niggas out here really giving up bread to these hoes for nothing, bro. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, I could at least respect the passport bros because if you give a woman something, she's at least it's an exchange somehow. At least it's a transaction, meaning you give her something, she give you back something. Shout out to the passport bros for that. But for you niggas that just be giving women shit for absolutely no reason, giving a woman something for nothing, you guys are a disgrace. You guys are a disgrace to the to the brand of masculinity. You understand? 
You are a disgrace to the brand of masculinity where if a dude who understands a little bit about game is trying to holler at a chick, this chick is telling him, oh, well, you know, where the money at? And you got to cash at me five hundred dollars before we even go on the first date. What are we talking about? Are y'all crazy? Are y'all fucking? Yo, I had a woman try to do that to me one time. I was like, you know, for the first date, just so you know, I like dresses. And she was like, oh, well, if you like dresses, then you need to send me the money for a dress. I was like, huh? I unmatched her immediately. I mean, for the record, just so you know. But this, yo, this, this culture of simping is just getting out of hand, bro. And this, the, the blonde chick talking about, oh, well, sometimes you just got to pay a bitch off because it's transactional. What she's really saying when she says that is that there are men who I don't find attractive, but I will talk to him. I will entertain conversation with him and I will keep him in the friend zone as long as he is paying me. You understand? Because let me tell you something. There are prostitutes out there and you could go look it up, right? There are uh, professional chicks out there, sex workers who they don't necessarily have sex with men. What they do is they literally just give these men companionship, attention, and they talk with them. They, they converse with them. And these men give them money just for that service alone. So it happens in real life as well, where these men, they're not, they're not getting no type of respect. They're not getting no real relationship. They're just getting, you know, temporary conversation and female attention. And they're giving, they're giving women money for this. You understand? And this is sex, female attention and, 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 and conversation is all stuff that you can get from women for free. Not from all women, but all you got to do is go out and meet women. All you got to do is go out and talk to women. You understand? But these guys are out here giving money to these chicks for absolutely no reason. You know, there's an interesting part to this video, too, where, you know, when a guy says, you know, well, look, I, you know, I don't have to spend a dime. You know, I could I could get it off my the way I look. I could get it off my game. You know, I like doing that because at least, you know, at least there's a thrill. He's like, because, yeah, if, if I give a woman $10,000, I know at some point we're going to smash. You understand? Which is which is not even true because you could give a woman that type of money and you still might not smash. You get what I'm saying? But he but at least he tried to say that, look, I'd rather get it off my game. I'd rather get it off of my personality. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather do it for the thrill. Meaning that he wants to see if the woman is actually attracted to him without having to spend a dime. And <clears throat> that's how it should be, guys. That's exactly how it should be. Like you should you should use game. You should use your confidence. You should use your ability to attract. You should use the belief that you have in yourself. You should use self-love and 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 knowledge of self. And like I said, game. Your masculine identity. The things that make you unique, that's what you should use to attract the type of women into your life that you want to attract. Not money. You understand? But then the girls is like, well, you know, sometimes it got to be transactional. Sometimes you just got to pay a bitch off. What she really means to say is that there are times when you're going to meet a woman who's not actually attracted to you, but will give you time and attention if you give her money. That's all she's really saying. Because girls like this, for a lot of them, that's how they pay their bills. They keep finding stupid, dumb motherfuckers to pay their bills. It's, bro, a good majority of the chicks or, or a decent percentage of the chicks that you see in cities like Miami, these chicks live in high-rise apartments and they don't pay for shit. These chicks drive around in Teslas, Mercedes, BMWs, and whatnot, and don't pay for shit. They literally got some idiot giving them money on a monthly basis just because they're pretty. Just because the guy finds them pretty, he gives them money. She's not even having sex with him. You, you, you know, it's crazy because a lot of these a lot of these chicks body counts ain't even that big like you really think. Because really, they fucking that one nigga that they that they find attractive. They fucking that one dude that they really find attractive. You understand? And then they're entertaining a lot of these dudes that got money and disposable income who have no confidence in themselves. <laughs> Man, these women, these type of women don't have to earn anything from these men. They're getting everything for free. And it's, 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 it, I, I don't understand, bro. It's, 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 it's disrespectful.
It's humiliating. It is. It's weird. It's like, what are y'all? What do you? What are these men doing? What What are y'all really doing? And and the and the crazy and sad part is, they they it's the it's the it's the poison that they put into the minds of these women to think that that's how it's supposed to be. That's not how it's supposed to be. Look, don't get me wrong. It's a it's a man. It's a man's uh, challenge to provide for women in general in society, but you provide by creating structure, right? You, you, you provide by creating a society and a civilization that keeps women safe by default. But there's no, there's nothing out here that says you have to literally put thousands of dollars into a woman's hands for absolutely no reason. Are y'all kidding? Like, come on, man. Yo, this shit is getting bad, bro. This shit, this shit is getting real bad. And then these chicks talking about, they be pressed. They be pressed. They love saying shit like that. They love saying shit like that because here's what they say. They, they say shit like that for the nice guys and the simps and the dumb niggas, right? So when, 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 the, when the nice guy and the simp hands the, the chick the money, when he hands her the thousands of dollars in her hand, and then he says, hey, you know, I'd really like for us to get together and, and hook up and have sex sometimes. What does a woman do? She scolds and shames the nice guy and says, why would you address me that way? I thought I thought we, we I thought we were friends. I thought we saw each other in a certain way. That's inappropriate. That's unacceptable. Why are you pressed? Why are you pressed for sex? I thought you were more mature than that. And then what happens to the nice guy and the simp? The nice guy and the simp feels ashamed. The nice guy and the simp allows the shaming language to actually penetrate his psyche. And then, in, so he'll never ask her for sex again. But, but guess what? In order to people please and to continue seeking validation because he's an idiot, because he's a simp, because he's a nice guy and a people pleaser, he's going to keep giving her money. A woman loves nice guys because it's easier. It's very easy for her to play on his insecurities because here's the thing with a nice guy a nice guy wants everyone to like him a nice guy wants to conform to the social normative behaviors so the only the only thing a woman has to do to manipulate a nice guy is to shame him in a reference to social normative behaviors and say to him hey I know you gave me money and you helped me pay my rent this month, but you acting like we're romantically involved is inappropriate because I only see you as a friend and I thought you knew what this was. And why would you put me in such an uncomfortable, uncomfortable position? And that's inappropriate. And why would you say that? And why are you so pressed for sex? And you shouldn't be that way. You shouldn't be so thirsty. If you give me some money, that's no big deal. But why would you have to act that way? You, like, and then they do this shit. And what does a ni nice guy do? He folds. He folds. And instead of having respect for himself, he continues down the cycle and keeps giving the woman money because he's trying to be liked. He's trying to pe people please. And then that can that continues to um, reinforce the mentality that these type of chicks have. And they think that this is how it's supposed to work. You understand? These women are not gold diggers. They're not gold diggers. They just happen to come across stupid men. They're not gold diggers. They just happen to come across weak men. They're, they don't have pretty privilege. They just happen to come across weak, simp, stupid ass men who give women something for nothing. That's all it really is, guys. That's all this shit is right here. Let's not be mad at, at women for being gold diggers when we give them the gold. You understand? Let's not be mad at women for using shaming language when the shit works. Why? Because the nice guys and the simp always fall for it. You understand? This, this, is the, this is the bullshit that continues to happen. This is why the brand of masculinity continues to get a bad rap because there's always some idiot. There's always some simp. There's always some weak dude out there that is willing to give give something for nothing and has and he has absolutely no respect for himself and he has no absolutely no respect for the time effort and energy that he put into earning that money and so he squanders it and wastes it on a woman and he allows the woman to manipulate him 
He notice I said he allows the, a woman to manipulate him. A man with game would never allow this. A man with game would look at the woman and be like, look, I need A, B, C, and D from you. And then you and you don't get no energy, time, or resources or money or anything from me until you show me that you can provide A, B, and C for me. Until you show me that you can be of value to my life. Until you show me that you can be an asset to my life. You don't get no money. What the fuck I look like giving you five, ten thousand dollars just because you showed up today? What? This whole topic, bro, this whole topic is a is a crazy issue that, you know, I I don't, bro. I don't understand, man. It just, the whole thing just kind of weird to me. The whole thing is just kind of weird to me, bro. The whole thing is just kind of weird. And again, this is another one of those situations where I'm not really going to beat up on a woman. I'm not going to beat up on a woman because if these niggas is out here giving, giving away money, shit, why not? Why the fuck not? Let these women go ahead and, and take advantage of these dudes. But what I'm saying is the dude shouldn't be allowing it in the first place. You see what I'm saying? And these are the guys that are that are that are causing us to lose the battle. These are the guys that are putting a bad name on masculinity. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to just I'm going I'm to leave it right here, guys. Look, it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. I hope you got something from this video. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.